Well, boys and girls, we made it. Another week of college football is upon us. Week number five is here and ready to go as we start the month of October. Things are starting to get more interesting as time goes on. First off, games, I believe, start on Thursday night. Actually, Friday night. Friday night, actually. But, you know, it is what it is. And we start out our Saturday slate. Because who cares about the Friday games? I mean, it's Wake Forest and taking on the FCS team and BYU taking on Louisiana Tech. Does it really matter? Not at all. But we start our Saturday slate with a couple of Big 12 matchups, especially my Texas Longhorns after that thrilling victory taking on TCU. Um, and Baylor, who beat Kansas, finally got to play their first game, you know, and stuff like that. And they'll be playing West Virginia. Um, but I'm going to keep my eyes on the Texas game and maybe Kyle Trask tearing it up with Dan Mullen and company against South against South Carolina. Well, I almost said South Florida. But, yeah, the Florida Gators are looking very, very interesting this year. And they could be a dark horse contender the SEC, you know, and that's pretty interesting, so I pay attention to those three games at noon, and then the big one, oh boy, Alabama, Mac Jones, Nick Saban, that vaunted Alabama defense, that Alabama running game, just everything about it, you know the well-oiled machine by now, taking on the Texas A&M Aggies at 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central. Jimbo's going to have his hands full. I can guarantee you that. Also, at that same time, you know, Boston College will be taking on North Carolina. So, you know, Dark Horse Heisman contender Sam Howell will also be in action. So, Boston College it's always a sneaky team, so you know things could get a little bit crazy when it comes to you know a game being played. Speaking of games being played, North Dakota State is playing one game this fall, and they are playing against Central Arkansas also at that same time frame. So also in that 3:30, 2:30, you know time. So uh, if you want to see Trey Lance. You know, tear it up before, you know, North Dakota State starts conference play in the f- in the winter. Uh, or in the spring, actually. Because I don't want to get it too mixed up. But yeah, you're one opportunity to see Trey Lance and that vaunted North Dakota State offense, defense. Just everything about that dynasty is just absolutely wonderful wonderful to watch just it's always wonderful to see you know school that doesn't you know adhere to the spread you know the spread offense and whatnot still running a pro style offense in this day and age and it looks beautiful in motion meanwhile as we you know head on over to the end of the night because then the games really kind of end um you know, they really start at about 7, the last set of games. They start at about 6, 30, 7 o'clock. That's over here on, you know, Central Time Zone. But, you know, last set of games start at 8 over if you live in the East Coast. If you're an East Coast viewer and you're watching this um, for Saturday slate. So there's no late night game, unfortunately this time around, but we'll have those back very soon, you know, those Pac-12 after darks, and um, Oklahoma's trying to, you know, rebound after losing to Kansas State, but don't get it twisted, Iowa State, you know, is also a tricky team, I don't know about Brock Purdy, though, I think he got injured, I don't remember, I don't think he got injured, I don't know what I'm saying, I didn't watch all the Iowa State's first game. But keep in mind of that deep south, that deep south 
oldest rivalry. Auburn taking on Georgia top 10 matchup. That should be very, very fun. I mean, you got Georgia trying to prove themselves with new pieces to the team. Auburn trying to, you know, stay in the top 10, stay as a top contender for both the SEC championship and the national championship. And it's going to be one hell of a game because both these teams really, really struggled for most of their games last week. And, again, whoever wins this game is going to, you know, have great, great chances down the road. Also, at the same time, you are my UNT Main Green in a conference matchup against Southern Miss. Um, that's just for UNT people, so, you know, shut up. Um, you, know, you also got UCF, the very fast, led by Dylan Gabriel, UCF, you know, just moving around up and down the field at will. How will LSU bounce back at the same time as that's going on? You know, as these other three games are going on, um, how will they bounce back against Vanderbilt on the road? You never know. And what about those number one clubs and Tigers? Or number two, depending on, you know, where you are. You know, some people could still consider, still somehow consider Clemson to be a number two team. But I mean, most the consensus is usually been number one. They're taking them off the jitty, though. And if you have the ACC network, I encourage you to get it because I'm not going to watch this game because Clemson might just blow Virginia out. I mean, it's going to be that bad. I'm telling you. So, yeah, week five is going to be interesting. There's going to be some storylines going on mainly in the SEC, but there's going to be some other stuff going on as well. So there you have it, everybody. So that being said, take care. See you guys after, you know, Monday Night Football has concluded, probably Tuesday morning or something like that. So, yeah, see you then.